All right, so we have another episode of Dream Hangers today. Uh, starting it off, we have this hanger from Achutan. Now he's very specific about the mechs, weapons, and implants. I chose the mods myself, but let's get through it. EM Rifle Orion with EM Damage and Reload along with Cooldown and Duration. Ember Gun Surge, Damage and Range along with Cooldown and Dash Distance. Fragment Gun Nomad with Damage and Reload along with Dash Distance and Cooldown. Howler Mimicker with Damage, Reload, Range, and Cooldown. And then Railgun Guardian with damage and reload along with cooldown. This last spot was up to me and obviously I put system crash range and in a moment I'll tell you why. Okay, so the first thing that stood out to me was, uh, well, first off, you have two snipers here, which is typically not gonna go over well. Railgun is very ineffective nowadays, but also you have no tanks or even general tankiness whatsoever. You don't have anything that can absorb damage. The only thing that can sort of absorb damage is Nomad. Mimicker can, but only if you use it extremely passively, which Howler is not going to do very well. This Orion build, the duration is largely unnecessary, I would say. I would swap that with either EM Rifle Range or, uh, if you have it, of course, the Orion Shield Pierce Implant. The Pierce Implant would be much better, but at least EM Rifle Range, it extends the maximum range further, but it also pulls the optimal range in, so your optimal range would be closer than 75. The Mimicker build, just in general, I don't think is very good. If you saw my last Dreamhangers episode, then you would know that the main weapon that I think actually sets Mimicker apart that makes it particularly effective is Podgun, and I explained why in that video, but the basic explanation is just that it's a really effective passive weapon, and Mimicker is best used passively. Uh, like I said, Mimicker can absorb some damage, uh, but only if it's not on the front lines. If you have Howler, you kind of you kind of forced to be on the front lines. And then finally, the Guardian. Uh, I would not run Guardian at all, period, unless you have this implant, and that's the reason that I put it in. If you're using Guardian, then you need this implant. Like, if you're using Guardian at max, I should say. I would replace this with, like, a minigun Aegis, probably. Uh, you have plenty. You have, you have a couple aggressors already. You don't need an aggressive tank, I don't think. The Mimicker, I would put pod guns on, probably. Uh, I say probably because having two really passive builds might hurt you. So ultimately, it might be best to either take the Mimicker out entirely or replace the Orion with something else. And that probably would depend on which set of pod guns you're willing to get because I would put pod guns on both of these mechs. They're very, very good. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, let's run a few matches and kind of see how this goes before I really make up my mind on the changes. Okay, so this map, I am going to start with the EM Orion. This would have been a really good choice before mods. Nowadays, it's a little bit risky because you're not really going to be able to keep anyone from taking center super effectively. However, I might be able to help, so long as my teammates aren't stupid like this guy that guy oh come on it's fine hey nice now i want to move over to this side right here i have to keep in mind that my distance is 75 meters if I'm closer than 75 meters, then I'm not doing full damage. This guy... I can get him, I think. Yep. Let's... Oh, he the Deathwalker freaking body blocked it. That's great. That's exactly how you use a Deathwalker, too. As a freaking HP sponge. You're gone. This is pretty decent. You really want cooldown on this build. Cooldown, reload, and damage are all necessary. 
So the last one's mostly just up to like what you have and what you think you'll need. But I would personally go with range over duration. As you saw, everything that I've marked so far hasn't lasted longer than like five seconds. And my base ability duration is 10 seconds. So there's basically no shot that they're going to actually survive for long enough for me to get the... To, to get use of the duration of that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, I want to run up as far as possible. So that, uh, yeah. Because I want this angle to be steep. I want them to have to get real close before they're able to actually shoot at me. Get that guy. I'll send him back. He'll go back there. I'll just mark him again. And I'll just shoot him again. It's fine. All right, so here I'm going to start with the Surge. You really, really need a dash mech if you're going for the center beacon here. And then if possible, I want to spawn the Mimic Row later, because I'm very curious about how that works out. Well, he's got his ability active, but he's going to die regardless, so I may as well trigger it. And I'll come on... That sucks. <laughs> For me. Anyway. My shield is gone. Yeesh. Okay. That's gonna suck. Yup. Wait. I'm confused. How much of that hit my back but did not take Galvanic Hole HP off? That's weird. I think it only took the damage, it only absorbed the damage from, oh crap, I'm dead. Only absorbed the, the damage from like the double damage. All right, here I'm gonna start with Nomad because it is faster than Surge and I wanna get to the center, which I can do here. Shouldn't be much of an issue taking it. It's just a matter of, do I want to be super aggressive? I think I will. Was probably a mistake, but I mean, we live with it. Come on. Ooh, these frags are doing damage. Ow! I didn't realize it was a. Uh, I thought that was a freaking teammate. I didn't realize he was taking that. Let's go with this. Because if I can theoretically. If I can. Get to the. Um, the bottom there. I can just system crash anything that tries to come down. Come on, get out there, you little nerd. I'll just send him back. Oh, no. Come on, his all. Oh, it's gonna say his ability didn't trigger. Perfect. It's fine. I have 45 meters on this crash, but I want to get as many things in it as possible. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer. I'm gonna yell. Okay, that guy's screwed. And this is why you need the range. If I didn't have the range, I would have only got like maybe one thing in that crash, and then the rest would have absolutely smacked me. What is this? Oh, okay. No, I think I got him. I got him. Just barely got him in time. He was about to move out of range. No, don't push me out, you idiot. Oh, that's gonna hit me. Okay. Everything's fine. Where is everyone? Because there's five enemies on the... Oh, hi. There he is. There we go. Come on. I know that there's this guy, but then there's more. I can not crash multiple, I think. And I can get this guy without having to crash him. But to keep in mind, I have a really long cooldown on this, so I don't necessarily want to waste my ability if I don't have to. He's dead to that guy, yeah. I don't have to worry about that. And then... This... I'm gonna back up. Um, and then I'm gonna run forward. There we go, and crash both of them. But the problem is... Now I'm out of ammo. And I can't really do anything. He's dirt. You can see him right there. Hello. 
Okay. Ah, uh, that's a Deathwalker. I want to kill him. Or I want to crash him so that he dies, I, I should say. Come on. Get freaking out of here. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage that I'm taking. That's a lot of damage that I'm taking. But it's fine? Nope. It's not fine. I'm dead. Goodbye. Okay, this map, I'm going to start with the Nomad again. And I just want to get the center. I want to try to get some Mimicker action. I don't think it's going to go very well. But we're gonna, I'm going to do my best. Get out of the way of that. Oop. Oh, that's a lot of Gravitons. That's a lot of Gravitons. Come on. Come on, go away. Go away! Oh, well, I didn't do any damage to him. That was weird. Uh, yeah, there's no one coming down. Uh, there's a lot of them. There's, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. They're everywhere. Sure, I'll take that. Get a little bit of a speed, speed boost. Some stealth. The range implant's very nice on this weapon, I would say. Uh, okay. I want to back up a little bit. Yeah, I want, I want the damage. Here we go. I want your damage as well. But I don't think I'm willing to die for it. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm still healing, I'm still healing. Okay. No, come on. Somebody freaking... <laughs> All right, let's heal. I can still heal even if the guy that I healed off of is dead. In case that was ever a question anyone had. I... Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't want to die. Well, I mean... Who would have thought, right? God, that dude's so freaking close. There we go take that. This is doing better than I thought it would, but it's mostly because of the range, and it's also partially because they're derped out. Like, if they had been even remotely aggressive back to me, I'd be screwed, I think. I want your damage. More than anything. Okay. I want it. Hmm. Damn it. I'm worth it. I want to be able to find that later. Come on. There we go heal off that dude. There we go. What is that? Okay. You heal off that guy again? Nah. Fair enough. That's fine. I don't want to heal him. Okay. Let's... Come on. Oh, I was so close. I'm just around the corner. I don't know, man. Like, maybe... <laughs> Maybe I'm tripping too, but like this Howler Mimicker was actually doing pretty well. Uh, you know, against single layered shields, it worked really well, but I think that's about where it stops. And I'm gonna have to say that it's probably not a good idea to keep it. I always recommend builds based on what's effective against actual players, because against bots, you should be able to use anything. So yeah, I mean, like, it did better than I thought it would. Uh, so did the Orion. But again, both of them suffer much, much more against multi-layer mods, which is most of what players have. Most players have multi-layered mods. So I would replace this Guardian with a Minigun Aegis. Let's keep this build the way that it is and put the pod guns on Orion. If you want to see pod guns on Mimicker, then you can see my last Dreamhangers video. I will link that video uh, on the end screen of this one. So when you're done watching this, you can go watch that and see how it performs. But ideally, uh, if you had something like Storm Rank, that would work much better. So yeah, I'm gonna apply those changes and then uh, we'll run some matches. All right, so we have those changes in Minigun Aegis, Stormwreck Mimicker, and Podgun Orion. So let's uh, let's see how they compare to the previous builds. Okay, so this map, I'm going to go straight for the center with this build. Not necessarily the best idea, but I'm just going to do it. 
to prove that this is a good build. It's holding its ground. Yeah, Graviton Beam's not going to do anything against the shield. Come on. One... There we are. Didn't take an implosion. That's good. I don't want to waste too much ammo. This guy's going to chew me up. But I don't have a lot of spare ammo. So I want to be careful. And then I'm going to use this time to get back behind cover. Got to get back to the center, though. It is slightly under attack. Hello. That guy. There we go. This guy's going to lock me down. If I let him. That's why I had to find a corner as soon as possible. And then this dude. What do you got, sir? I'm actually going to let him hit me. Come on. Pick a side. There you go. Uh-oh. That's not good. Get him. I got some time. I'm going to have to... Kill him. I'm going to have to hope that... Yep, there we are. I was going to say, I'm going to have to hope that my Galvanic Coal can tank whatever damage he's going to dump at me. But thankfully he didn't have a lot of HP when he respawned. Hey, 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 stop that. My main goal is to keep the center area. My game's kind of tripping for a second. But I can kill him. I'm gonna take that damage, because, yeah. Same deal, I think it's worth saving the ability for a second. I want to be able to deal with this guy. This... I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna hit this guy. And then my shit's about to go down, but thankfully he turned off to the left for I don't know what reason. You're scaring me, bro. It's trying to push me out. Okay, my shield hasn't taken any damage, but it will. I have two seconds, one second. Okay, there we go. Oh no! Oh, that was... I was so close to surviving the entire match. Yeah, alright, so this map's just an easy W for Orion, I would say. Normally you'd get up on, like, those side areas, but those really derp out the bots, so honestly, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. It's a little too cheaty. Get this dude. I can mark him. Possibly kill him if he pokes out. There we go, that guy's dead. This guy. Also dead. This guy. He might even get them both dead. Yeah. Let's go. This dude. Nah. He's using his ability, but he will die. And that's nice. There we go, I can mark him before the rest of my pods go off. There we go. And then I'm gonna fire at that guy. He's gone. Fire at this guy. He's gone. This dude. Okay, well he's gonna respawn. But that's alright. That should take him out. He's screwed now. That's the guy that just respawned, I think. So let's try to take him out. Somewhere nice. Oh, really? Okay, whatever. Fire the rest of that. You! Mm, a bit of damage, but no kill. I can possibly get the kill there. Yes, okay, nice. I wasn't sure if I actually hit him with the most of which with most of that. Then he's gone. You could probably tell how this is much better than EMs. The reload's pretty similar, but it just does much better damage. Much more reliable damage. Here. 
There we go. And I don't even have to worry about getting clothes either. Alright, so to make arena map, I'm going to use the Mimicker. I'm just gonna dump this damage down there. Could probably kill him. There we go. This dude, I'm gonna grab stealth real quick. And then move to this area. I wanna be this is slightly closer than like over there. Closer to the action. Closer where the enemies tend to be, I should say. I'm gonna grab this dude's damage. Come on, sir. Where are you going? There we go. He's gone. Damage boost is nice. He's screwed. This guy. Is there a damage anywhere? Nah. I'll just take that so he doesn't load me up with pods, I guess. Eh, got a couple, but it's fine. In a second, I'll start looking for healing. Yeah, here we go. Oh, come on. That's close. I'm gonna take you... Kill you. I'm gonna get you as well. Do not want to die. So I will... Do that, there we go. Well, it would have been nice to grab that dude's damage, but oh well. Didn't really need it. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to trigger him. I can't really afford to be on the... this... that side. One of them, I don't know which one. One of them's, yeah. There you go. I don't want to, I'm very exposed right here, right there. Do they have any hemlocks or just supports in general? Gladly take that. I'll take stealth instead if I can't get anything better. All right, so yeah, this is how I would recommend you set up your hangar. I mean, yeah, big surprise storm rack does better than a howler. But like the main thing is, you want a weapon that you don't have. You don't have to be in someone's face, right? Like I could use the radius of this, and so since I was taking minimal damage, that meant I was able to more effectively use my ability. If you wanted to, you could put pod guns on the mimicker and then storm rack on the Orion. I think it works about just as good either way. Anyway, yeah, hopefully this helped. Uh, let's move on to the next hanger. All right, so this next hanger is from Indra. He says he subscribed, and I'm sure if he was here right now, he would say that you should do the same. They were very specific about the implants, so let's just go through it, and then I'll talk about what I would do differently. First off, EM Rifle Aegis, damage and reload, cooldown and duration, Storm Rack Onyx with cooldown and damage, along with Storm Rack damage and radius. Podgun Surge with damage and reload along with duration and dash distance. Cryo Launcher Eclipse with damage and range along with ability cooldown and ability duration. And Helix Rack Gate Crasher with damage and range along with ability damage and ability cooldown. So first off, ability duration is never something you put on Aegis because Aegis' whole thing is that it's able to take a lot of damage with its ability. The problem is that if that shield goes down, uh, like if they take it down early, then you're in trouble, and you're in even more trouble if you have ability duration on it, because that means that you have to wait even longer before it goes into cooldown. In terms of this build, Stormrack is mostly good because of the reload implant. The reload implant reduces the reload time by half, and that's the reason that it's so OP. Uh, so not having a reload, a legendary reload implant on here is a catastrophic mistake. I would probably get rid of ability damage just because I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. The cryo launcher, I would always do radius. Now you did say range on storm rack and I assume you meant radius when you said range. So I don't know if like maybe you meant radius when you said range on cryo launcher as well. But uh, no, cryo, cryo Launcher has a implant that is literally Cryo Launcher range, so I'm just going to use the Cryo Launcher range. 
and not make any assumptions. I would probably get rid of duration in favor of radius. The helix build, I would go with reload. When it comes down to any passive build, so like mortar, javelin, even snipers, I would always, always, always have to reload because these weapons, they, they typically have good burst damage, but they don't have great DPS in general. So you definitely want to get that damage out as quickly as possible each time. The range is debatable. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Ability cooldown and ability damage you seem to be very about the uh, ability implants, but honestly, they're not that useful. I would actually go with ability damage and get rid of the cooldown in favor of helix, re uh, helix reload. In most cases, I would say don't worry about ability damage and go with cooldown pretty much all the time. The reason I'm saying to keep the damage in this case is because it's a helix build. So your, your job is to expose yourself as little as possible, which means if, if you're using your ability, it's probably because somebody's getting a little bit too close for comfort and you want to make sure that you can take them out uh, while your weapons are reloading or something like that. And that shouldn't happen so often that you need an ability cooldown implant. Taking a step back from the pilot builds, let's talk about the mech builds just in general. <laughs> you have four different passive builds here. Podgun, Cryo Launcher, Helix, and EMs. Only one high DPS, which means if the enemy has the center control point and they spawn a tank, like an Aegis or something, doesn't really matter. Anything that's able to hold ground relatively effectively, you have zero pushing power to take that beacon back, and you will lose. It's just a matter of time. Now, maybe you'd be able to kill all of their mechs before you lose by influence, but you will lose by influence if you don't do that in time. So I would definitely get more damage-centered builds in here, specifically on the Surge and Eclipse. These are two really, really good brawler mechs. My recommendation for each would be like Ember Gun on Surge. If you can get Revoker, then that's obviously better, but probably Ember Gun is the best you can get, which is perfectly fine. It is very, very strong. And then Overdriver, if you have it, and if you don't, Minigun is only slightly less effective on Eclipse, but is uh, much easier to get. In terms of these builds, if you're gonna have Storm Rack on something, I'd probably put it on Gatecrasher over Onyx, to be honest. I mean, Gatecrasher does less ability damage, but it doesn't really matter because you get your ability once every seven seconds. It's not a big deal. You're not gonna be relying on your ability DPS. You're gonna be relying on your weapon DPS. But Gatecrasher is faster. It has more HP. And then in terms of this, in terms of this Aegis. If you have Overdriver, then use that on Eclipse, and then use Minigun on Aegis. Minigun is better than Overdriver on Aegis. If you don't have Overdriver, and you only have one set of Miniguns, then put the Miniguns on Aegis, and then put the Pod Guns from Surge onto Eclipse. So yeah, that's my very long first impression. I'm pretty sure that's going to be, end up being my advice, but let's run a few matches and kind of see how things hold up. All right, so this map, I will use the Cryo Launcher first. I don't have any radius is the problem, which means unless I hit them directly, there's pretty much no shot I'm gonna be able to hit them at all, which is not super ideal. Was able to kill that guy. Let me just, there we are. Cryos are not that bad. I've been using them more lately and I'm, yeah, I'm realizing they're pretty decent. I would not say that they're as good as Podgun, but they're not that bad. Yeah, the problem is your DPS is very limited. Well, not just your DPS, but just like your damage output in general. I want to kill this guy before his ability comes back really lucky for me that they have graviton beams they can't really do anything if they had something better than graviton beam i'd probably be screwed uh okay i'm gonna stay on this beacon there we go i'm gonna fire at the okay there we go weird do that my ability duration is gone 
can get a bit of them. Not quite. Can I kill him? No. He's gonna be dead though. Oh, come on. He freaking body blocked my last salvo. Which is annoying. There we go. Alright, so normally I'd spawn like an ember surge or something here. Try to secure the middle. But uh, pod gun surge can't do that. I mean, I'll attempt it. But I don't even know if I'm able to get through this guy. Let's fire that at him first. Nah, he's gonna... That's annoying. For what? Okay. That's... Mm, everything's fine. Oh nice, his ability's gone. So I can... Mm, he's going to kill me though. He's going to... Nope. I'm fine. I'm gonna hit that guy. Hopefully can kill him. No. That should kill him though. And then... I'm gonna put those all on his back. Yeah, nope. Don't really have the damage output to kill anything while they're EMP'd. Really? I thought I would have gotten in my radius. Oh, come on, I EMP'd him. Game's a liar. I'm gonna... That should kill him. That's fine. I have five kills, which is not particularly impressive. Surge has a particular knack of being able to use basically anything and survive for a relatively long time with it. The problem is, like, I can't kill anything with these weapons. Like, it takes so long. I have, like, five seconds of EMP, which is basically just, you know, time to deal free damage. And I'm still just, I'm not able to do a lot with it. I'm probably dead here. Yeah. Okay, this this map I'm going to start with the Helix, so it's a little bit undecided. He should be dead to the... And then this guy... Oh, that's annoying. This guy's coming up. He has a canopy. I want to break that first. Man. Sniping that. It's pretty difficult sometimes. I mean, if I have to send him back, then I have to send him back. Oh, no, he, he's gone. This guy. He's coming for me. Anyone who's... Oh, hello. Yeah, reload would have been nice. He's gone. Oh, no. He had his ability. He's not gone. There you go. Uh-oh, hi. Uh oh, hi. Please don't. Aw. Oh. Let's go with this, I guess. Just because I can really dump damage down there. And here, I forgot that I should be very, very careful with my ammo. Yo, what is that? There we go. Rip. Go away. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, I really need the reload implant on this. Okay. This is fine. I have to move this way because this guy's coming up here. I can get with that. Go away. Alright, I've been saving this one for last because I have been dreading it. EM Rifle Aegis. It's not going to end well for me. Phew. Coming. 
Send you back to where you belong. I have to keep my distance. This guy's gone. Get to get him. And then this guy wants to come up. No, he doesn't. No, he does. He does. He does. Get out of here. Oh, he respawned, so. Hey, there we go. Nerd. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 I blocked it. Let's go. Yeah, you freaking suck. That's what's up. Go away. Oh, this is gonna... He's gonna kill me. There's basically zero chance that he doesn't. Mm, no? Okay, okay. Hold on. Can survive for, like, slightly longer. I just... Mm, I'm hiding behind the pillar. I don't need to hide behind the pillar to protect myself, but what I wanted to do is make the bot think that I'm not able to be shot at, which will make him stop, shoot stop shooting at my dome. Because if he kept shooting at my dome, it would have gone down. Come on, what? Uh, yeah, and then he uses his ability immediately. Freaking knew it. That's why I was trying to smack him. Oh, nice. I got lucky on that shot. Get up. <laughs> well, it was delayed, okay. Do I have, no, I think I have the range and the damage, but I don't have the reload. For it. I don't remember which I don't remember which implant I don't have. <laughs> I don't have one of them, that's all I know. Alright, so I'm gonna make some changes here, and then we'll run that hangar and see how it goes. Alright, so here it is. So let's review everything real quick. Uh, minigun Aegis. I have the minigun implants plus cooldown. You saw this in action in the first hangar, so I'm not going to worry too much about showcasing it. Podgun Onyx, um, using cooldown and damage. Now, you wanted to use both those implants with the Storm Rack, but since Podgun only has two implants that you can use, uh, you know, you're able to do that now. Embergun Surge, with Embergun damage and range, along with ability cooldown and dash distance. The Cryo Launcher Eclipse, I removed duration and put on the Cryo Launcher Radius. And then Storm Rack Gate Crasher. It's the same pilot that you had on Onyx, except instead of ability damage, I have Storm Rack Reload. So yeah, let's run a few matches and see how this all goes. Alright, so Elon Station, I actually am going to start with the Cryo Launcher Eclipse. What is the range that I need to be at? I think it's like here-ish. To, yeah, to bombard the bridge area. Do that. He should step right into that. I'm gonna fire right about there. I can get him from range. The radius is really, really helpful when it comes to getting kills from distance. Yeah, right. It's also nice. Radius is e makes it easier to hit the back shots as well. Oh, that guy's stuck. He should be dead to that. He should also be dead to that. Eh, well, I didn't get either kill, but it's fine. I'm gonna fire past him to use the radius there. And then I can fire over this. Prior launcher damage is actually not that bad. I know I gave this weapon a lot of crap a while back, but... Nah, it's pretty legit. I've been enjoying it a lot. Hello. The stasis is kind of nice. It's just kind of niched as well. Obviously, it doesn't have as much DPS as like regular nades, obviously, but it doesn't really need to. You're gone. Hello. One volley is all it takes to apply the stasis, which is kind of nice. This guy. Hello. I could fire that, yeah, above him. Alright, here I'm going to start with the gate crasher should be able to, for the most part, just hang around this area right here. Because I have a good sight of everything going down here. 
Did I hit him with the ability? Yeah, I did. Nice. Now, Gate Crusher does really prefer to keep its distance. That's why I have block. That's why I have blockade on here. Come on. I can hit my teammate with that. <laughs> Okay, well I did kill him. Is he gonna come around the corner? No. I can get that guy. It's pretty squishy though. I can kill him with that. I don't have to worry about it. And then you kill you while I kind of move over to this side. You see how quickly my freaking Storm Racks reload too? Like this is what makes them OP. Oh, he's going up. I didn't realize he was going up. Hi. Minigun gate crasher. Uh oh. Oh, he glitched downward. Oh, that's so annoying. Come on. I can get you. There we go. I can get you. And I can. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I have pretty much mastered the art of standing on the edge. Just in the right spot to where when you get locked, you'll stay up there for a second, but then you'll kind of drop down. And if I know that there's a hemlock, then I will typically stay around those edges. All right, so here I'm gonna start with the Podgun Onyx. I have not used this build a whole lot, but I know that it is pretty decent. Go with all oh. ability radius would have kind of helped me there. Consider using that instead of one of these other implants. That'll kill him. All right, I need to do this. Now I probably should have a blockade on here instead of a ooh, perimeter multi-layer, but. Like, don't worry too much about the mods. Kill you. What? Cheats. He's dead. This guy. Fire my quarter rocket. Ooh, he tried to get me with it, but not quite. I can. I want to go in the bottom so I can loop sideways. Shooting it down like this, I was just going to hit the corner there. It wasn't going to work. Hello. Oh, they keep spawning there. I probably should move. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. Go away. He's dead. And this guy. He's coming. I'm going to smack him a little bit. You see, my ability does not really do a lot of damage, which is why you shouldn't pile your implants on ability usage. Because there's no amount of implants that'll make your ability your main weapon. Then this guy. I'm gonna... There we are. Pile that on. What does that you have? Okay. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I can't be aggressive with this build, which is kind of why we're losing on influence right now. But, I mean, still a pretty good build. I just have to... He's reloading, so I'm fine to kill him. Nice. Okay, so these changes were pretty good. I didn't show this minigun you just at all, but, like, you saw that in the last hangar. It's the exact same build, so that there's no, there's no difference. Ember Surge, you also saw this in the, in the last hangar, so... The Storm Rack Gate Crusher is pretty good. Obviously not the best Storm Rack build. Like, this is by no means a meta hanger. You know, if you want a super strong hanger, I, I would recommend you use, like, Panther here and then, like, Solus here. This is pretty close to what you had, but it's much, much stronger. I mean, I changed at least a little bit on every single one of these builds, but, you know, some of them weren't necessarily bad. It's just a bit of optimization to be had. But anyway, yeah, hopefully I was able to help. Thank you to Achutan and Indra for your hangers. 
If any of you guys watching want one of your hangers to be in the next episode, then head over to the video description. I have all of the details in there as to like uh, how it works and how to get yours featured. But otherwise, yeah, that will be it for me. Appreciate y'all. Take care.